Hello, I am Buck WSR Weezer, putting the do into Do It Yourself. And our Do It Yourself project today brings us to our fall leaf cleanup throwdown between two fierce competitors. To my right, the Craftsman Shredder Vac Lawn and Leaf Vacuum. And to my left, the tried and true trusty hand rake from the Home Depot which is going to be able, we're gonna do the section of the yard here where I find myself right now, and we're gonna do a section with the rake and a section with the shredder vac to see which is more effective and uh, more efficient in the cleanup of your fall leaves. I have an idea of which is going to be more efficient, but I'm not gonna tip you off just yet. We're going to put it to the test and find out. So round one is going to start with the shredder vac. And we're going to do this length up the yard. Right here from the corner post to this post and all the way back. And then round two with the rake, we'll do from this post to this post and all the way up to the house. So without further ado, let's see if we can fire up the shredder vac. Right. Haven't started this guy in a while. Turn on the fuel valve. Choke throttle. And let's see if it'll fire up for us. Not yet.
Well, I didn't have the stopwatch going to see how long that took, but I think we did encounter some success as well as some limitations of the lawn and leaf bat. First, up along the fence, it couldn't get as close as you would have liked. Certainly, I'm going to need a rake to get up closer there. And around these bushes here, I'll have to take the rake to pull them out from behind the plants and all. But all in all, the machine ran well. And what is nice is everything we've sucked up is conveniently chopped up. And right here inside the bag, we can take it to the curb or out into the woods and go ahead and dump it. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with good old traditional rake. And we're off. This definitely has uh, a little more cardiovascular benefit. One of the disadvantages of the rake is I will also have to use a tarp so as to haul the leaves away. My technique with the hand, with the traditional rake is just to make large, make kind of stand in the middle and pull them towards me, working in a large circle, and then I have a pile that I can pick up and haul off. That seems fast compared to the machine. You know, the machine had uh, has a variety of speeds, and I was moving it at one of the more slower speeds. I don't know if it would have been as effective in sucking up the leaves if I was, you know, in one of the faster settings. Well, there's our, there's our pile with the traditional rake. Let's walk over to the machine and we'll wrap this up. Well, my heart's beating a lot faster after raking that one section than it was after vacuuming the first section. But I really think I spent considerably less time with the rake than I did with the lawn and leaf vacuum. For, for the time being, I'm probably not going to uh, transition over to vacuuming up my leaves because the rake seems to work faster and better and also allows me to get up along the fence where this guy does not. This, however, is a lot more fun, especially if you like small engines and tinkering, so it has that benefit. But then again, there's the third option that we haven't talked about. You might be able to hear my neighbor just fired up his leaf blower. Maybe blowing the leaves is the way to do it. But that will be a topic perhaps for a future video. For now, I'm going to stick with the rake 
and hope the owner of this machine comes and picks it up. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. I, ex I uh, appreciate your comments and questions, and I'll look forward to seeing you again on our next video. Bye-bye. So there's a section of the yard that we've already done. Now I went around with the rake along the edge of the fence and pulled the leaves off the fence. So now we'll see if that can make the, the leaf vacuum have a little easier of a time. Another disadvantage of the leaf back is if your nozzle gets clogged, you have to stop, take it off, and unclog it. So I guess perhaps I was tempting to go through too thick of a section at one time. And while it's no big deal to remove this, it does cut into your progress. <laughs>